A stroll along the Indian Ocean coastline on a beautiful day is something Jaco van Sale never takes for granted. The 36-year-old from Johannesburg has struggled with knee problems and eventually had to go under the knife. My kneecaps used to pop out, so every time they popped out, the ligaments would tear, and over time, the ligaments stopped growing back. So the surgery was basically to remove ligaments from the hamstrings and replace it in the knees to keep the, the kneecap in place. Van Sale has paid a high price for following his chosen career, having had to wear a knee brace for the past three years. And the operation he had last year didn't bring an end to the pain he was suffering. Surgery was on the Tuesday, the 8th of April. Um, obviously, the Wednesday physio, first physio session started, and I mean, all I had to literally do is get out of bed and stand next to it, and it was literally possible. So, you know, they tell you it's, it's quite, quite painful, um, but till you put in that certain position and in that spot, you don't really realise how painful it really is. And you think to yourself, well, you know, you can't walk, let alone, you know, how you're going to be, ever be able to swing a club again. Rehab involves sitting in a wheelchair and using crutches for four months after the operation. He had lots of time to reflect. Those 13 victories on the Sunshine Tour were a distant memory. And with his career on hold, he had a new perspective on life. Being out on tour week in and week out, your biggest concern is missing fairways or missing greens or not making those five, six footers. You know, when you experience something like this, you realise that there's a lot more to life than just playing golf and getting the ball in the hole. Van Sale came through a local event before putting his rehab to the test at the HSBC Champions in China. He was painless until round three. As I hit the shot, I felt this agonising pain in my left knee. Didn't realise what it was at the time. Finished up playing pretty much on painkillers. When I got back the Tuesday, Wednesday, I was back in for surgery, realised uh, one of the screws snapped to my knee. It literally felt like someone was ripping my stomach out. So, you know, just knowing that what you've been through and kind of have to go through it again. Mental toughness and his desire to get back to former glories kept him going. Rehab was shorter this time, and two months later, he gave it another go. South African Open was my first event really back again. I was just over the moon to be able to make the cut there. In the first couple of weeks, you really don't play with much expectation. Two tournaments later, in his backyard at the Joburg Open, it wasn't just his game which was getting him noticed. So we go to a slim down Jakob van Sale. You could see he's lost 18 kilos in weight. When I started playing golf again, I mean, I could literally hit the golf ball no way, so I went into quite, quite a serious training program for three months and uh, managed to build some muscle strength, flexibility, and in the long run, I think it will be better for the golf and uh, better for the knees. The rewards have come already. A second place finish at the Joburg Open was followed by a tie for sixth last week at the Africa Open. All that pain and hard work is finally paying off. It's, it's great being out there again, fit as ever, playing as well as I most probably did before the injury, and, you know, just got a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of drive, you know, that that will to do well again. If anyone deserves a pain-free stroll along the coast, it's surely Yako Fan Sale.